the six levels of delegation. So to somebody listening right now, they're thinking the six levels of delegation. I have a hard time delegating. I don't like to delegate. I'm the boss. I'm the leader. I don't want to delegate anything. Take somebody right now through those six levels of delegation on a high level, Ari. One of the big issues that I've often seen with delegation is that people inherently see it as this like very binary activity, meaning like either I have to do everything or somebody else has to do everything. And neither one of those is a really good starting point for somebody who's not very good at delegating. And, and when I say to somebody not very good at delegating, that's basically everybody, right? And just as a sort of a tangent, not even tangent, sorry, a small sidebar. I don't know where we got this idea, leaders, founders, whatever, got this idea that everybody's a natural delegator. I, I think people accept that not everyone's a natural leader, but everyone's, oh, I could tell somebody how to do something. It's so misguided. Mm -hmm. And whenever I used to speak in person, and I say used to because it's pre-COVID, essentially, I always used to, I would love like asking audiences, like, how many of you, raise your hand if you've ever delegated something or outsourced something. And I use the two interchangeably, like half, 60, 70% of the audience raises their hands. And then say, okay, so now raise your hand, put your hands down and say, now raise your hands again if you've ever had a bad experience outsourcing something. And invariably, more people would raise their hands the second time than had mm -hmm. the first time, right? So it's like, okay, good. So more of you have had a bad experience delegating than have ever delegated before. <laughs> it's so everybody has. And some people, it was the the last time for them. And they always, everybody has a story about why they don't delegate, right? Because, oh, I tried to outsource it to this you know company in India and they screwed this up and uh, it's not for me, except that they're the problem. Like 99% of the time, if you get a bad result outsourcing, it's you. So this is where the six levels comes in. So with outsourcing, my goal is empowerment, right? It's not just get annoying button pushing work done by somebody else. I don't want to deal with it. Don't get, you shouldn't see outsourcing. And again, keep in mind, I'm, de I'm delegation and outsourcing is just interchangeable. You shouldn't outsource something just because it's annoying and you don't want to deal with it, right? It should be something that it has this ability for somebody to actually engage with. And ideally, you're going to get a result that is better than you would have produced yourself, while at the same time allowing you to go back to focusing on what you do best without having a handhold. Okay, that's the ideal. So the six levels basically goes from just do what I say to just get it done. And what we're doing is we're dialing up the level of trust and the level of empowerment. So the first level is just do what I say, which is really, I don't want your opinion. I don't want thought put into this. Just do the thing. Buy this book on Amazon. Meaning just buy the book on Amazon. I don't want to know if you have a better suggestion. I don't want to know if you think it should be bought somewhere else. Uh, just buy the book. And then level two is I want you to look into this and come back to me. So research my options, but really it's just give me the options and I'll, I'll, go, I'll take it from there. Still not much empowerment, not too much trust, but a little bit. Level three is consult, basically. Like you give me your opinion. So you go look into it and you tell me what you think we should do. But again, I'm going to take it from there. Again, dialing up level empowerment. Somebody feels like a little bit more autonomy, a little bit more ownership over it. But again, ultimately it's you dealing with it. Now we, well, we get to level four. Now things switch a little bit. Level four is decide. So you do look into whatever this thing is, you make the decision, and then you just let me know what we decided. So keep me informed. And if anybody who's listening who's familiar with kind of the old school consulting framework of RACI, R A C I, right, which is responsible, accountable, mm -hmm. consultant, informed, right? Mm -hmm. So you're just going to be informed at that point, right? We're not really getting your opinion. We're just letting you know, because I can still at that point be like, oh, no, you shouldn't have done that. Let's change it, whatever. Now we're really starting to get people involved in this process. Level five, which is my favorite, which is one that people should be using more often and just never think of, I think, I, I assume, is decide within limits. The limits could be time, money, space, whatever it might be. So uh, for hours or less, I don't even know about it. Just do it. Make it happen. Don't delay, right? The idea here is you don't want to become a bottleneck. And what that actually came out of way before I even came up with the six level delegation was that five, I don't know, eight years ago or so. I was away for, I was away at a conference actually in Europe, but speaking at some event, I was unavailable for that reason. And there was like a $50 decision that was holding something up and a client got very upset about it. And I was like, no, this never again, like this 50 bucks is ridiculous. So I started putting rules in place. What's nice about that one too, is that it really lets somebody know what their playground looks like or their corral, right? So it's, they feel really good about it. And also it incentivizes them within reason to do better on pricing, if that's the, the thing, if that's the if that's the metric, if it's money. And then the last one is level six, 
which is just get it done, which is basically two things. One is you're saying, I don't care who you have to kill, who you have to hire, what you have to do, just make this thing happen. What you're really saying, and this is really hard for people, is my involvement in this task any further than this point will hinder the process. I am not going to be a help. I am going to be a weight. And I'm handing this over to you. I'm trusting you to deal with it. You understand the result that I want. Make it happen, which is really important because, some, for, for example, if I were to hire a graphic designer to come up with a new brand, I want to talk about my brand and whatnot. But ultimately, I know personally, I don't know crap about what makes for good branding or not. I know when I see it, but I don't think I could create it. So for me to stand over the shoulder of the branding expert and be like, oh, why are you doing the red? Why are you doing that font? Mm -hmm. I'm not going to help. I'm saying you do you and I'm going to leave you the F alone, right? Now, level six is fascinating to me because it's it can be very scary for people sometimes, both sides of it. You're also signaling, not signaling, you're telling that person that if a mistake is made, it's not their fault. It's not on them, rather. It is yeah. your responsibility, and I have to accept that as the delegator. Now, I have had, I've had several people working for me over the years, but I have a writer named Amy who's been working with me for a very long time and has written most of the stuff that I've put out there for several years now. And in the beginning, there were times where she would send me a draft of something and I would respond L6 and basically be like, not my problem. You, I trust you. you I'm not going to read this. And, and further, that's the thing too, is I'm not going to take the time to read this. If I do, it's not going to happen for a couple of days because I'm a slow reader. I don't want to delay this. Make it out, just do it. Now, it's hard to find people and develop that relationship in some cases, unless you're hiring like a really big specialist, somebody who's like the best click funnels expert in the world. That's another example of level six. Like I, you don't want my input on that. Like you're the expert for a reason. So I'm going to stay out of the way, but it brings to mind the idea of there's a keyword, which is the a macher, which is like a person, like a doer, they make things happen. There's so many characters in movies over the years, like the wolf in Pulp Fiction, right? It's just somebody that just makes things happen. Everybody should have that in their life if they can, if they're lucky.